Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be unboxing, well I guess it's a mystery cube. I put a poll on my Facebook page a while ago asking people what they would like to see on my channel that I haven't got yet and a really really highly thumbed up one got this which was allow my girlfriend Erin to buy a puzzle for me and I don't know what it is until the unboxing. So that's what this is. I thought that was a really really cool idea which is why I ended up doing it. So thanks to whoever that was. If I can find the thread for that I will actually put it on the screen right now. And uh, if not, then I'm sorry. Okay, so let's open this up. This comes from HK Now store. I can tell I didn't even know where it was coming from, to be honest. So here's another Calvin fan card. And here's the puzzle. So I have absolutely no idea what this is. What is it? Oh, wow. What is that? Oh, okay. Super Antonio Vivaldi made a tutorial on this not too long ago. And I kind of wanted one, so I forget what this is called. I am going to be excited to solve this. So this, I guess, is a shape mod, so that doesn't turn. This turns. Wow, this is going to be pretty complicated. So again, I'm not sure what this is called, but um, you can see that it's basically a 3x3. If you took these parts away, now you can see it's a 3x3 with these corners chopped, and they're just added on here. Let's try a checkerboard pattern. Wow, so that's quite a shape. Let's try this again. All right, so I know that you can get some parity with this. I guess um, it's called the parity of false equivocation or something like that, where this, I guess that's a corner. Hmm. No, that's an edge. Is it? It's hard to tell what's what. Okay, so that's that's an edge. Okay, so yeah, so this is the center. Everything moves around that, correct? So this edge here can be flipped one way or the other and you wouldn't be able to tell. So you'll end up with parity in your top layer. And there was also, I think, another kind of parity with this as well. Anyway, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try to solve this thing. Actually, let's scramble it up first, obviously. So let's just scramble it up. <laughs> Look at the shape. See, my girlfriend knows what I like, right? Like she went and got me a shape shifting puzzle. Um, it's a three by three shape mod. It's something I don't have, which is what I told her. You know, I would really like something that I don't already have, and she knew that I didn't have it. So it seems that she knows the type of puzzles I like. And you know, I could pretty much be guaranteed that I would like it no matter what it was, because she knows I like such a wide variety of types of puzzles that it didn't really matter what she got me. All right, so here we go. I'm calling that scrambled. Look at that thing. That is one big scrambled cube. All right, guys, so I am going to go and solve this, and then I will come back. Okay, I'm back, and it's been about 10 minutes, and as you can see, I did solve it. Now, the two parodies that I was talking about, okay, so one is an, one is an edge orientation parody where you'll have three of them oriented properly and one not, and that's having this edge piece here flipped upside down, which will create that parody. I've seen that in many other ones too. However, you can uh, replace this blue side with the green side. Now, you can't solve it like that, okay, but you can take this whole blue section out. And you can put it in the green and then put the green in here just for the first two layers. Um, but if you do that backwards, so this is the regular classic Rubik's Cube color scheme, the white, blue, and then uh, red on the side. And then the opposites corresponding just like a regular Rubik's Cube. Um, but if you had it backwards, and I did somehow, um, I was paying attention, but somehow I did put the green in the blue's place. And then when I was in the uh, top layer, I believe it was a corner. Um, it was a corner permutation and orientation parity that I I didn't really understand at first until I saw that I had swapped these so I did run into it but after that I, I solved it again and it was pretty easy I didn't run into it because I just made sure to check my work on the way and uh, yeah so it's it's not something I do OLL and PLL on um, it's pretty difficult to wrap your mind around OLL and PLL on this so I just basically use the standard beginners method so anyways it's a pretty I don't know, it's a, it's, it's a decent puzzle. I, I really like it, and it can corner cut a little bit, as you can see. Um, I haven't tried any lubricant in it yet, because honestly, it just doesn't need it. It's really good. 
So I guess this might be like an extension of my $5 cubes. I, I don't know how much this is though, but I'll leave a link in the description to this. I'm still not sure what it's called. If you can uh, leave a comment in the uh, comment section below and, uh, and let me know what it's called, that would be much appreciated. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video.